Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you Jared's Evolution by Riley Hart. This is an MM uh, contemporary romance that has the daddy trope that goes with it. And I honestly think that Riley Hart does it justice. This book is phenomenal in my humble opinion. We have Jared, who is a lawyer who has had a tragic and horrible past. When he's in the courtroom, when he's at work, he's on fire, on point, he's dedicated. He is the man. When he is out at home doing whatever, he has anxiety and he, it cripples him. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to act to function as a human being. Kieran is his next door neighbor who happens to step out on his balcony and hear the porn that Jared is listening to one night and realizes that he can help this younger man. And I kind of get the creep factor and that like you were totally listening in. But at the same time, Jared loves to open the balcony doors, let the fresh air in, and then blast the porn. So I mean, who is really the creeper here? So Kieran kind of reintroduces himself to Jared and takes things incredibly slowly. Like at first, Jared doesn't really know what's going on. It's just Kieran says, you need to take good care of yourself, eat lunch today. And Jared remembers that he's a doctor and he's just like, you know, I'll do whatever I want. I'm a grown ass man. I don't need you to tell me what to do. He never says these things to Kieran, at least not yet, but he thinks them. Nevertheless, he eats lunch that day. And from then on, things slowly progress forward. However, while we're going through this, Jared is constantly fighting himself. Why would somebody so powerful as himself, this mighty lawyer who's created this great persona out of nothing, why does he need Kieran and what Kieran has to offer? He shouldn't. So like, you know, any typical teenager, he totally rebels against everything, goes off, does whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. He doesn't need this shit until he realizes that he does. So watching him talk himself out of this, talk him down, talk himself into believing whatever he wants himself to believe and then seeing that everything he believed is wrong was kind of humbling. How many times have we talked ourselves into something thinking this is going to be the best decision for us because we know what's best for us. Nobody else can tell us what's best for us. And then we realize that we were completely full of crap and this other person was actually brilliant. And why do we have to go with society standards? Why do we have to please society? Which was a big thing for Jared. A daddy boy relationship is not the norm. A dom sub relationship, a master sub relationship is not the norm. And how can he, this powerful attorney, do something outside of the box? And Kieran has to constantly tell him, it doesn't matter what other people think, it's a matter of what helps you. What betters you? Riley just kind of took us on this thrilling adventure of watching Jared. I mean, the name of the book is Jared's Evolution and that's what he does. He evolves from this man that's just crippled with anxiety in his personal life to having a purpose, a function, meaning. Even if it's a grocery list, he has purpose. He finds himself, he can root himself somewhere and everything's going to be okay. Now, at the beginning of this, Kieran says, do not fall in love with me. And of course, Jared's like, not a problem, man. Like, I just need help. But throughout Jared's evolution, there's kind of an evolution of Kieran that we're not completely focusing on. But if you watch the background, it's there, which is really enticing. I'm really excited and ready to read the next book in the series to see what happens. I mean, my heart is kind of in this uh, bubble and I think it's going to be easily popped with the next book. I've heard rumors of crying and sorrow and pain, and I'm looking forward to every emotion that Riley is going to give us. Okay, now hotness level of the story, the flames, the oh my God, chemistry between these two, and what they agree, disagree, hard limits, soft limits, the things that happen, <laughs> yes, oh gosh. Riley has a way of just writing these sex scenes that are not just downright raunchy, dirty, but they all have meaning with them. Even if it's supposed to be this quick hookup, this wham, bam, thank you, not ma'am, and we all move on. There's always some meaning, feeling, something more, and she doesn't let us down with this. 
I think she did a spectacular job with the whole daddy trope and building a relationship. So I am giving Jared's Evolution by Riley Hart five stars. I loved it, loved it, loved the daddy trope, loved the May-December romance that went on with it. Watching the evolution of Jared. I mean, the title is perfection of what this book is. So what I am going to do for you is I am going to leave the Amazon link down below and my Amazon influencer page. That way you can click and go read because this is so good and hot and steamy and yes and raw. If you've enjoyed my review, I'm gonna ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to get new stuff out for you guys every Sunday through Thursday, but I honestly never know what time. And that is the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you're like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm gonna leave stalker links aplenty. Go click investigate enjoy. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read or some light editing proofreading you would like done, you request via website. Jared's Evolution by Riley Hart. I am giving five stars. Bye. Before I start, I'm going to tell you that this review is going to be explicit, um, mature adult content, my language. So in essence, it's going to be like rated R. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to listen to this, this would be your time to kind of like back away. If you're thinking you might want to listen to it and you're going to want a couple seconds, all right, I'll give you a couple seconds to decide. Just know that uh, the review is for Depth of Field by Riley Hart.